Today, we are installing snorkel. Not on the Eclipse, but on the Jeep. So, um, the first thing I need to do is go to Harbor Freight to get some tools, because I'm going to be cutting my hood. So I'm going to need a, a, hole, a hole saw, and um, like a cutter, some type of cutter. I have, I have an angle grinder, uh, but I do need some cutoff wheels. So I'm going to get that. So I'm going to take a quick run to the, uh, to the store. And uh, I'll catch you guys when I'm at the store. But then after that, we're going to be installing a Red Rock snorkel on the Jeep, finally. So, without further ado, let's go to Harbor Freight. So, I am back from uh, the tool store, and let's talk about the kit. This is Red Rock kit. It's pretty much the same exact thing as AUV, um, but just non branded. There's no big old AUV embossed lettering, which is what I love because I like the OEM Plus look. And this is also 148. Um, so, comes with some bracketry. We're gonna see how all this goes on. A black hose clamp, some black rivets, which is nice. I do get some uh, silicone sealant. This is how we're gonna seal the new um, this piece to the uh, factory airbox. And okay, sorry about that sound. This dude's stupid truck over there is just making all these disgusting noises, and it's annoying. So we have one of these Milwaukee hold dozers. Um, this is going to be to cut the uh, corners right here, how to radius that. Uh, I'll show you guys how to do that as well. Uh, so cut off wheels and a flapper disc from Harbor Freight to go with my Harbor Freight angle grinder. I didn't buy this today, but I've had it for a long time. And uh, some masking tape. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the instructions. And the first thing we're going to do is work with the template, put the template on the hood. Alright, so I am a little nervous to cut this hole. I, I really want this thing to line up perfectly. So what I'm going to do is actually skip ahead a couple steps and uh, attach this to the factory airbox. So when I close the hood, it'll give me a good idea of where the hole is supposed to line up. And then after that, I can pretty much double check and triple check my cut and then make the cut. So let me take the factory airbox off. It's super simple and I'll show you how to do that. Look up. You just take off the cover to your airbox, like I'm about to change the filter. Take off the top, move that out of the way. Take out your filter and, and this thing pretty much just pulls out of place. See these spots right here? One, two, three. They're just uh, little posts. And you just rotate it about without doing that, you can go without breaking. Super nice to that. Um, I'm going to JB weld that back and then here's the airbox. Alright, <clears throat> so I JB welded that. I'll wait for that to cure up just a little bit before I put it back in the Jeep. Um, but for now, while I'm waiting, I'm going to go ahead and attach all these brackets. Super simple. You just use these 10 mil bolts. And just attach them. So there's one bracket here, one, two, right there. So I'm gonna do that real quick and kind of prep the rest of the stuff up. And then uh, this should be done, or at least somewhat dry enough for me to uh, kind of test fit stuff. And then uh, it'd be time to install the smoke. Alright, so the next thing you gotta do is take off this factory um, intake, whatever you want to call it. And there's a tab on the inside and a tab on the a tab on the inside and a tab on the outside. Um, but pretty much got to push it in and uh, pretty much pry this thing out without cracking or breaking your factory airbox. As you can see right there that's done right there came out and then right on the bottom here um, is another place to kind of squeeze and push the same tunnel
And then now it's time to pretty much fit it up. So this will go. This. There you go. So there's a nice click. Make sure both tabs on the top and the bottom uh, go into place. Now we have to seal it up with some silicone, which is right here. And we're just going to seal up the hole right here and then on the outside as well. So whenever you go through the water, the water doesn't seep through right here and go to your intake. That would be bad. I can see the first test fit is a little weird. This bracket is backwards, unfortunately, so it's not gonna line up. I gotta switch that. And then I gotta tie up these brackets here. I messed up and told you to do this bolt, but it should be this one and this one. And uh, yeah, so we'll do that. I'll uh, check back in when uh, that's pretty much all tidied up and it's time to cut. All right, so it is time to cut. I have this in place, generally, where it's supposed to go. And this looks like it's lined up pretty correct. I'm just gonna probably tape down this template a little bit more. There we go. So I'm gonna center punch these holes right here. Now I'm going to get my hole saw and cut those, the radius. Okay. Well, there's no turning back now. Wow, that shit really just happened like that. Oh, what the fuck? All right, we are back on a new day, new attitude. Today I'm not gonna be salty. Uh, went back to Home Depot, got a uh, replacement hole saw. Hopefully this one doesn't break also. Um, and uh, yeah, so we're gonna get back into cutting. That's the stuff we left up on. Uh, cutting this hole, this hole. Then we're going to connect the lines with the angle grinder, and then we'll have that done. So, um, without further ado, let me reel out this extension line and get to cutting. So this is the piece that came off, and as you can see there's a little bit of cleaning up I had to do on the corner right here and over here, and I also got to probably flap this over and finish it up with some, uh, some spray paint so I can prevent rusting, um, but let me see if the fitment is correct. Okay, that looks like it fits over pretty well. Now we're going to take out this wood block and see if it will drop over the actual snorkel itself. And yeah, it fits over really nicely actually. Um, like I said, I just have to clean up this edge, it's catching right there, and uh, pretty much just flap it over and uh, clean it up really nicely, take off the tape. And uh, I finally did the hard part, or that's the scariest part, which is cutting a hole in my hood. All right, so I already made my marks. So I already made my marks here with the little bezel piece. I just made the marks where the holes go, and now I'm going to center punch the holes, and then I'm going to start at the middle, and then work my way out 
and then uh, I'm not gonna drill them all at the same time because more than likely they're not gonna really line up um, after I just drill them all. I'm just gonna make sure I rivet in two first and then just drill as I go and probably end up clamping this to the surface. So I touched up the inside with some just just some matte black just so these edges don't rust or anything, which is really nice. This is the outside. Probably gonna touch up the tips of these um, rivets with some uh, with some black sharpie or something like that. But it looks pretty good. This part was kind of tough to fit, but um, took a little bit of persuasion. I just put in these this first. And then the other stuff kind of got tied down. Uh, I'm gonna close the hood. I'm close the hood. It all fits nicely. As you can see, that cut was actually um, pretty pretty perfect right on. Um, so just, and then when you tighten it down, it uh, honestly looks not too bad. So I'm kind of go over the install a little bit, kind of go over um, the quality of this since it's not a, a big brand name. This is Red Rock, and it's a little bit cheaper than the other snorkels on the market. So I'm going to go over that and sort of uh, kind of what I like about it, what I hate about it. So install is actually super um, terrifying, actually. The most terrifying piece is that you have to cut out a section out of your stock hood. Let me set the hood prop up. But um, yeah, so you have to cut this chunk out of your hood. So that's a little terrifying. And you just clear it out the inside. I just gave it a coat of black. There'll probably be something else I'd do with this to kind of clean it up just a little bit later. But for now, I'm just gonna run it like that. It comes with a fascia plate to kind of clean up the cut. Kind of gives it a nice little bezel. That's really nice. And has rivets that go in and that's also pretty good and they come black but once you use the rivet gun it kind of rubs off a little bit so I'll probably go over this with some black paint or something. As far as how the snorkel attaches to the airbox is uh, if you guys are familiar with the, the Jeep airbox it stops right here. Um, this plastic piece will cut off right here so you take that plastic piece out put this piece in and then silicone it shut. Um, the silicone will keep the water out and uh, keep everything sealed up properly so your snorkel actually functions. How this mounts up to the Jeep is uh, there's two brackets here, right here, and there's a, it's attached to the, uh, the fender here and then attaches to the back side of the snorkel. And then there's another bracket here that attaches to your A-pillar. Um, now, these brackets were okay. Um, this just didn't fit perfectly. There was a little bit of pressure I had to apply um, and I did that just by kind of pushing and getting these two screws in first and then just pushing and forcing these down and tightening them down. Uh, what I suggest is when you put in these brackets, I wouldn't fully tighten down these uh, 10 mils. I believe they're 10 mil screws. Um, they have a locking uh, washer on it, so once you put it in, uh, it's pretty hard to turn out and it won't vibrate loose so just put the thread locker on there and don't completely tighten them down because when you put this on it'll shift it just a little bit and uh, if you force it too much you will damage your snorkel most likely now you could probably hit it with a heat gun or something but I didn't want to mess up with the texture because I kind of like the texture on here and it would really mess me it would really make me kind of upset if I mess up the texture with heat um, the upper piece here uh, it just attached with a hose clamp, super simple. It is a, a black hose clamp, which is nice. But again, right here, I don't know if you guys, yeah, you guys can't see that, but it kind of rubs off, which is not a big deal. Um, probably gonna get a pre-filter set up for that too, as well, a little bit later on. Um, another big problem, uh, and this is just with all brands I've seen, is the antenna. As you guys know, I had the Antenna X 13-inch uh, antenna, 
and you know, it was perfect, I loved it. But it wouldn't fit in here. This gap is way too small in here. So I had to go back to the stock um, antenna. For now, I'm probably gonna get a chop one that kind of ends like right here because I kind of don't like how dorky that antenna looks. So that I'll just have to change. Um, but other than that, the install went pretty smoothly. Okay, the birds are wildin' right now. Other than that, the install went pretty nicely and it looks pretty nice, honestly. Um, I kind of like the look of it. Looks pretty dope, actually. So, if you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and uh, comment comment your comments, questions, or concerns below. I would love to know what you have comments or questions about, especially with a snorkel at this price range. I know a lot of you guys like my channel because it's like a budget type of build, and uh, you guys probably want to know my thoughts on how this thing goes. Um, and uh, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. See you guys later. Peace.